Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new junk journal video to share with you and in this video I'm using the Steampunk Christmas collection from Tinchika Designs and as always her shop will be linked below. So I wanted to use this collection um, but I don't actually have any Christmas photos yet. I used all of my Christmas photos from last year so I won't have any Christmas photos until after Christmas. So I thought I would use this um, collection uh, for just a normal day and I'm going to show you how I get around some of the Christmas ephemera in this collection. So I'm starting out by creating a collage on my page. I've got some vintage looking um, scrapbook papers that I'm adding down first. Oh and I also wanted to say my camera angle and my lighting is off in this video. Um, I've had a bit of a nightmare with my tripod that I use to film normally broke and um, I had to use my lighting tripod to film and so it's not a straight on film it's sort of tilted and yeah the light wasn't great either but I really wanted to use this video anyway. So I've created that collage on my page using um, as I said some scrapbooking papers and also some vintage uh, text papers as well and then I'm just going over all of that with gel matte medium and um, just to make sure it's all secure. have this doily and a piece of a napkin from this day. We went out for lunch, me, my mum and a family friend and I took some of the things with me. There was a paper doily on one of our plates and there was a napkin that had the name of the place where we were as well so I thought I would collage these into my journal as well. Again using gel matte medium to make sure it's all stuck down. And then going around the edge of both of my pages with vintage photo distress ink and I'm also going to do some stenciling with this ink as well and I just have sort of a branch um, stencil and I'm going to use that with the vintage photo and also with the black soot distress ink as well. So I've then got one of the pieces from the Tinchika Designs um, Steampunk Christmas collection and I, this was sort of a tag shaped um, and I chopped a little bit of it off and I'm using this on the right hand side of my page to create a pocket. So I cut it out, I inked around the edges with black soot once again and use that to create a pocket and a lot of these pieces in this collection don't have to be used for Christmas so that's what I'm trying to show you in this video. Um, I've got a collage of two of the photos I took from this day and on the back to add some interest to it I stuck the receipt that we had for this day as well and I'm going to cover most of it up so you won't see it all but it's just um, an added piece from this day I don't like to throw away any receipts or anything I like to add them in my journal if I can so I added a sticker and another uh, of the steampunk tag pieces to the back of that as well in sort of a mini collage and I also um, added a tiny bit of journaling this page didn't need um, lots of journaling I just wanted to write the date and um, uh, where we were what we did um, so I then have another of the printables from the collection again it's not overly Christmassy so I thought I would get away with that one and um, I've printed all of these out on white cards so at the back it's just plain white which I didn't really want on the page so I'm just using an old book page to cover the back of that up I'm gonna round the corners ink around the edges of that and then stick one of my photos behind it I'll then stick that into my journal using some washi tape um, to create a tip in
added another of the steampunk pieces, a bigger piece on the left hand side and it had um, vintage tones but it also had a bit of red in which matched the napkin that I used earlier so I added that for some more interest and then I'm just going to go and stick down my photos. I stuck some cheesecloth behind these just to add a bit more interest to my page and then I've just used glue to stick them into my journal. just finishing off with a few more pieces of washi tape and a few more of the um, steampunk ephemera and that's my page all finished so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you very much for being here bye guys <music> <music>